This video is brought to you by our sponsors and viewers like you. Thank you. Now, a while back, I bought this book called Insert Name of Book Here Because I Forgot the Name of It. Wow, that's a long title. But as these pages for you write on, and at the top it asks a question or something um, about your life for like a top 10. And I got it for the purpose of prompts for videos. And I was flipping through, and one asked something along the lines of, what does the word dare remind you of during your childhood? Or something like that. Now for me, it brings back something that happened some time ago about an elementary school. I was in South Carolina, and one day when I was walking back from the bus stop, I met my new next door neighbor. I'll think of a fake name, um, Throckmorton. Me and Throckmorton became best friends, and we did a bunch of kids stuff, like hanging outside, fighting with sticks, trying to skateboard in our driveways, having sleepovers, playing Halo, all that. He even showed me uh, Roblox and actually recently started playing again. It's still really fun. But there was one other thing we liked to do. Here's a map of the neighborhood. Here's my house. Here's Throckmorton. And behind his house, there was this ditch that we promptly named the ditch. Dun, dun, dun. It was about six feet across, six feet deep. And when we were outside, he told me a story about what one of the older kids in our neighborhood did. Ooh, flashback within a flashback. He crossed the ditch to see what was on the other side. There was this old man we called Old Man Nevercracker off of the Monster House movie. And this was because he didn't like people in his property line or something like that. But when the older kid was with his friends, he crossed the ditch and he saw that Oh, Nebercracker was outside on a four-wheeler with someone else. And they were watching him for some reason. Not long after, he saw them driving towards them. Huh. Looks like they're driving towards us. Oh, wait. Run! Then they ran off and split up. And they didn't get caught. So naturally, we dared each other to get closer and closer. We would go across the ditch by sliding down, climbing up, grabbing onto roots, vines, or whatever. And we would go to see how close we can get. And we would rarely be seen out there. A lot of times we run back just because uh, just because of the thought of being seen and we were just kids and stuff. Now after we did this, we noticed that there were a lot of people coming out of an open garage one day. Uh, not only that, there was stuff all sprawled out. It was a garage sale we couldn't resist the temptation of cheap old stuff and we decided to take a look we went over got some stuff and there's this couch out there it was like eggshell white and i jokingly i wasn't really gonna do it said hey do you dare me to sit on this not that i would and then the lady asked hey are you the kids who keep crossing the ditch and with my quick wit i said uh yeah and then she just said, well, don't do that anymore. It's dangerous. Okay? Okay? Yeah, I guess it was a pretty deep ditch. And after crossing it, we did notice a lot of broken bottles. We did what any kids would do and stop. For about two weeks, and then we kept doing it. Until Throckmorton moved away.